right, next up we have Bianca. Give it up for her. Childhood questions question. or what, something? What is your least favorite topping on pizza? Calabrese. Pepper. pepper. Peppers? Peppers. Oh, peppers, peppers. I like peppers. No, yeah. green peppers. Well, I'm not going to share a pizza with you then. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you, everyone. My name is Bianca Trinkenreich. I am a research scientist at Globant, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a research model we have done based on DORA that associates well-being of people with culture and performance. So why culture? DevOps is a lot about culture. So we are using the, the same uh, framework of culture that is used in, in proposed, proposed in DORA that has three categories, pathological, bureaucratic, and performance. So the pathological culture is a lot of power oriented. So the cooperation is low, the failure is <coughs> And the novelty is crushed. So this is the, low, the lower level of, of culture. The second level is rule-oriented. So the risks are narrowed. The failure leads to justice. And the novelty is like, OK, let's try some novelty. The third level of culture is performance-oriented. In this level, the cooperation is high, the bridging is encouraged, and the novelty isn't lacking. So we want novelty, and the failure leads to inquiry. Inquiry is not judgment. So there is a lot of research about this uh, model, and it shows that in many domains, not only on DevOps, a generative culture leads to better performance. Okay, culture and performance, but what else in the middle? And this is what is insightful here. So a generative culture leads to more engagement of people and less burnout in the team. And although the less burnout is also dealing in DORA, we are showing that the less burnout is here to show that for the engagement, it leads to go, uh, culture leads to commitment, leads to active, to positive work-related states, and also avoiding burnout. So having a good culture, you avoid burnout in the teams, you avoid the feelings of helpless. Burnout becomes a, a buzzy word nowadays, but it's the opposite of engagement. And more engagement, less burnout. So they are antipodes. So engagement is like absorption, dedication, vigor, but burnout is exhaustion, is cynicism, is inefficacy. So better culture, better in, in, more engagement, less burnout. A fatigue makes it harder for employees to be productive. So it's very, very important for us to avoid all those burnout. And what leads to less burnout? Like I was saying, the gener generative culture. After the, the engagement and the less burnout, we show that the results show that it leads to better satisfaction. Satisfaction is consequence. It's consequence of the things that we achieved before. So work satisfaction, happy workers, happiness was already talked by our igniters here. Happiness leads to more productive people. It's not about working more hours, but working better. And after that, after satisfaction, what did we find was that happy people have better performance, and performance in terms of the four key metrics proposed by Dora, velocity and stability. So put it all together. Organizational culture leads to performance. Yes, yes, according to our model, yes, but not so directly like that. So we show that the organizational culture leads to well-being of the people, and after that, the well-being brings the high performance. OK, there are people in the middle. It's not only like that culture to performance, you re really need to take care of the people in the middle. Who are here? Who is here in our uh, stadium? People. So we need to take care of the people. And that is, and the DORA can help us, we extend DORA to show that uh, culture, 
people and performances. So in our model, we use the engagement, less burnout, and work satisfaction as mediators. They are important instruments that we can use in research to analyze. That this analysis was done through a survey based, the question was were based on DORA. It was for 400 people in the financial industry, and we use structural equation models, factor path, and mediation analysis. The takeaway is first, train your team for a generative culture, take constant care of well being of the people and then research your performance metrics, because I've shown four performance metrics. You can have even more. Thank you. All right.